What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are going to do a Q&A. It's about time because uh, I've been waiting uh, since probably 10k to try to do this. I've just been so lazy to do it. I've been kept doing the reaction videos and um, I know you guys like those and not too many people like the Q&A. But that's okay because I know a few of you are probably wondering who the heck I am because there's so many new subscribers. I literally started this in... Uh, a couple months ago in November, just before Thanksgiving, it is June currently, so it's only been a few months. And I was at 80 subscribers when I started, and now we are about to hit 16k. So this this crazy. Like I hit like I gained like 5,000 subscribers in one month, and um, when the channel was really blown up, and that was crazy. So we already here at almost 16. This is a 15k special. Uh, might as well hit it before I hit 16k. We're only like 400 away, so. All right, so uh, I'm gonna read uh, questions from my last Q&A video at 5k, as well as uh, a post. I said, hey, give me some questions, and I'll read it from there as well. So this is Annalise. She says, what's your favorite part about the channel growing so fast? Uh, I subscribed when you had 4k, and now you have 6k. And uh, she also says, can you make more of those album covers? Uh, so, uh, starting with the album cover one, I want to make more of those, I love doing those, and I know, um, it's something different because, uh, usually just react channels or just react channels, but I like to add some art or kind of video game or movie stuff in there as well, instead of just music, because I like covering all kinds of other different stuff, and I'm sure, uh, hopefully you guys do too, that's why I do that, and I want to do more album covers, I'll come up with some ideas, and hopefully come out with a new one soon. If you don't know what she's talking about, I've created two album covers before, um, 21 Pilots and 1975, both of those artists, I did a, a fictitious album cover for them if they would come up with a new album i just made some pretend vinyls for them and you can check those out on the channel me creating them and what those look like i had fun doing those and uh, i'm glad you did too Annalise. so yeah and what's your favorite part about the channel growing so fast um so this whole channel is about discovering something new discovering new music new uh, movies tv shows uh, video games anything really just discovering something new to enjoy and talk to other people about that's the whole basis of this channel and um with so many people subscribing uh, it's just more people discovering i see comments of you guys saying uh, how you guys discovered this new artist with me when I react to it you listen to it for the first time too Which is what I really like that um, you know you guys are reacting alongside me You guys let me know in the comments what you guys thought of them and that's what this is all about And I love it and I'm glad you guys find new artists to listen to so just the fact that there's more people um, Checking out the videos and you know discovering something new with me is you know what it's all about So I really love it. All right. Here's a question from hogs five. He says would you listen to either the song that you dislike the most for a year or the song you like the most for a decade also you're the only you're only allowed to listen to that song and that one song only that's a long time a decade of one song if you guys didn't know i did a a video where i listened to sicko mode for 24 hours straight and i almost didn't survive that one um i'm i wasn't a big fan of the song so i probably couldn't even listen to the same song i hate for a year if I can't even almost do it for a day. So I'm probably gonna have to, but a decade, wow. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to go with my favorite song. I think I can handle that. I probably listen to the same stuff anyways. <laughs> the song I would probably choose, oh, a single song. It would probably be Jesus of Suburbia by Green Day, just cause that song, it's like a nine minute song. Uh, forgive me if I'm wrong. It's like that long of a song. It's a long song and it has so many different, um, you know tempos and uh sounds to the song it changes up quite a bit and i think that is a good way to survive is because like it has so many like um you know like different points in the song that just sound completely different from each other so kind of gives you you know a variety in one song so i think that's why i would choose that one and i'm sure there's other good ones let me know uh, what you guys think in the comments below what song would you listen to for a year what song would you guys listen to for a straight year can you do another arctic monkeys reaction yes so uh with all these reactions just to sum up all of them the people that are asking me to do this this and that i will be doing part twos threes and fours of whatever artist it may be as long as you guys want that artist again i will do uh continuous parts as long as they have music and then you guys let me know in the comments when they come out with new music and i know you guys do that as well and i'll check them out because that is definitely Really cool. All right, Death Butter right here saying, if you were a fruit, which one would you be? 
So I would probably be a, um, I'd probably be a watermelon. Just because watermelon's probably my favorite fruit. And who don't, who don't love watermelon? Because watermelon is my favorite. I could eat a whole watermelon. You don't understand. Watermelon's the best. In the summertime now, so I get to be graced with the watermelon. Watermelon all, all day, every day. I always imagine you doing ASMR. What's the changes, lol? I've never thought of doing ASMR. I don't, I never thought of myself being an ASMR channel. And I've never really listened. I've checked out ASMR videos or uh, Twitch streamers. But <laughs> I, like, I don't, I'm not like fascinated with it. Like, I'll be like, here's this person that does ASMR. Let me watch the video for like a couple minutes and be like, this is weird. Uh, if you want, I don't know if everyone on the channel wants ASMR videos. I could probably make a second channel for it, but I don't know. I never thought of doing it. <laughs> um. All right. <laughs> that was from Roberto Pelag Pelagati. Getty. I'm not sure, but I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. Roberto. Um. Chicken Wing Pro says, "Why did you start YouTube?" This is a good one because, um, so pretty much I've always done YouTube videos for, since I was little, um, whether it be random little skits with friends and like, um, I got a GoPro, uh, don't know when or how I got it, but I got a GoPro and I always like filmed it whenever we went on vacation and stuff and I'd use Windows Movie Maker, uh, to edit it on my, f uh, computer when I got one, but before that I was filming with my phone and I was using a free video editing software to download and I was editing in that in the app and that's how I used to make my first videos was like that and then I upgraded to Windows Movie Maker and then Sony Vegas and now I am using Premiere Pro and a DSLR so that's you know that's how the progression works you don't got to start YouTube with a DSLR and you know kind of like a setup so you know thanks for that question that was really cool so yeah I've always pretty much done YouTube and you know just random videos and it just kind of progressed the way it is up to doing reaction videos what's going to be a highlight in your life says hasxx hask or i believe that's how you say it honestly i have no idea currently this channel has been something a really really cool that i'm really proud of i'm glad you guys are uh, joining and subscribing checking out the channel commenting and you know just overall being a part of the community that we have started here um it is young and it is growing, so I'm glad that, uh, you know, you guys are a part of it. Yeah, so this channel, as of current lifespan, uh, is something I'm really proud of. If you spoke in a color, what color would you speak in? Says Owen Re. You guys with the first fruit, and now colors. All right, all right. Um, what color would I speak in? All right, so we got some guy saying I should do ASMR, all right? So what color works with ASMR? I don't know. I mean, my favorite colors, uh, you know what? Probably purple. It's not one of my. It's like it's one of my favorite colors, but probably purple because you know it's a darker color, and it has a little bit of color to it. You know, it has some life to it, but um, you know it's still a darker color, and I think that fits my personality and I guess how I spoke. I don't know. I assume purple. You guys can probably give me a different color. Like why purple? I'm just gonna say purple because yeah, purple sounds good. All right, Kevin here's got two questions. He says, what's something you've learned from life and could you give us, uh, and could you give us as advice? I don't, this channel wasn't made, this isn't an advice channel. I, I don't have really any advice to give you guys. Um, so the best I'd give is uh, pretty much work as hard as you can to get to wherever you want, like whatever it is, a goal or something you want to achieve, work as hard as you can to achieve that goal and know that you, um, that it takes time to get there and know that it's not always going to be a steady incline to get to the um, where you want to get to whether it be a job or you know saving up for a car just know that as even with the slightest bit of um progression is still a huge achievement to getting to wherever you are think about how far you've come and how how long it took you to get to where you are and be proud of how you've gotten to where you already are even though you haven't gotten to your goal maybe or maybe you're close or maybe you've gotten halfway be proud of how far you've gotten and you know be proud of what you've done and not be ashamed of where you haven't gone yet so that's uh i guess my uh deep advice to you guys um yeah 
I'm terrible with this. Terrible with this. Who's your biggest inspiration from Kevin again? So my biggest inspiration, um, there's not really one person I look for. I think it's important to, um, you know, get inspiration for multiple people to maybe, cause maybe if you find some, some one person that you, uh, in, uh, you're inspired by or, you know, that you look up to, I think it's important to have maybe multiple people like that because usually you would get a certain set of um views ideas and such from one set of, uh from one person or group of people but if you idolize maybe someone else you'll get a whole different group of ideas so i think it's important to idolize multiple people not maybe just one so i take inspiration from many different forms um and i think that helps to create and craft your own unique um idea or inspiration um from multiple different sources because that's um you know you only get a few things from different people and when, when you put all this collective together together collectively you get something you, you know unique for yourself which uh i find to be uh helpful i guess so that's my uh kind of answer but not really an answer uh, my biggest inspiration is pretty much anybody i find inspiration in uh i kind of find it in anything from other people's videos artwork you know as i'm as i'm a designer i look at videos nature i go outside you know occasionally any little thing i can find inspiration of whether it be any person that a stranger that i've met celebrities it is important to get as much inspiration from as many people as you can and may uh, not focus on one person to idolize and get ideas from all right, so last one comes from Clyde Girl. I would like to know what your biggest, uh, best gig you ever gone to. All right, um, so the best gig I've probably gone to um, probably will have to be uh, Paris P V R I S. It is one of my it is my favorite band, and it is the first show I went to as a VIP show. That is probably why it's my favorite. Um, never gone to one. Um, you know, never thought I would. Um, they're relatively uh, a smaller group in America. Um, they are American, but uh, usually they're more popular in the UK. You know, ticket, tickets, I had the money and I'm like, I can afford the VIP. I purchased it for my sister as well. And we both went, we met the band, took a photo of them and um, it was fantastic. And we had early access into the venue once after we met them and they were super nice and i had such a good time and once we got in we were able to sit uh stand directly in the center of the stage and i was right in front of her and then there the grate was right in front of me best seat best spot i could have ever been in for the concert and at the end she even came down to finish the last song and she stood on the grate uh right in front of me like because she was gonna stand in the center and I was already p pushed up against the grate and when she came down uh, everyone uh, pushes forward you know to get close to her and I'm already the closest person to her and when people uh, push forward to get close to her I still find a way to get closer to her even though there's a grate in front of me I don't know how that's possible I'm probably levitating at this point in the center not touching the floor and she was like this close to me like here's me here's her it was great so again that was like the most awesome experience to be that close and to um you know one of my favorite artists and you know it was a great time and i'll definitely remember that one and always go see them as soon as they you know are in my area for a concert hope you guys uh subscribe share this video share all my other videos with your friends and uh check out the patreon and uh, merch and pick those up if you uh want to support the channel because i do not get uh any money from my reaction videos because uh copyright and that's what i have to live with to give you guys the full reaction uh songs and stuff that's the way i want to do it and to do it that way i will not be um you know i don't get um ad revenue from youtube and stuff so patreon and youtube is a way to support me if you want to support the channel and again, I appreciate just you guys watching and, you know, growing as a community. And that's that's all I really want. So, again, I appreciate it. And I want to check out some more music. So let's discover something new together. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys are having a great day. As always, peace.